Hey what's up everyone this is Baljee from JK welcome on my channel and this video we are going to make a communication with the Micrologix 1100 PLC with the DH485 cable and my last video we have made communication already through the Ethernet cable using IP address but in this video we are going to connect DH485 cable if you look on the left hand side you have a two communication port one for Ethernet cable the second one for DH485 485 cable just in case if you have already assigned IP address or you don't have a IP address or you don't have assigned any IP address yet then that's the best way to connect through your PLC so now simply we will connect one end to our PLC of a DH485 cable then I have a this uh, little converter going to convert from uh, this port to USB and we are going to connect other end as a USB connector to our PC where we are going to use Micrologix PLC communication. Once you are done then simply we are going to open RS Links Classic. We need to configure some driver we are going to click on uh, communication. If you see on the top menu we click on communication now we are going to configure driver over here we have to add a new driver I have uh, already multiple user of this computer so we have uh, already uh, communication made before but I'm going to make one more time we are going to choose DH485 cable uh, driver from the list simply you click and then say add new here we have to name the driver so you can recognize you can name any you want I just going to put my couple letters press ok then we have to choose a COM port like I know it's my COM port is 5 so I select okay here before you close this one you need to make sure only the driver you have created only those one running not any other driver I have a multiple user so I have already driver running I'm going to stop every other driver just only the one I'm keeping one I have made then we simply close this one and we are going to open R S logix 500 so you simply open that software in that software actually we are going to communi uh, communicate with that PLC we will go to top menu communication then we will say who uh, active we will choose our PLC first option you will see you have to create new file or you have to browse if you click on create new file you will be able to see the program already inside the PLC if you browse new program that's basically you uploading a new program onto your Micrologix 1100 so once you click on browse it will navigate to your folder where your file you simply click OK and it will uh, take your software or your PLC that's we have uploaded already new program to our Micrologix PLC. So now we have already made communication with our Micrologix 1100. You can make change whatever you want to do. And the second thing I want to show you, we are going to offline again and we are going to click upload. Uh, this was the first menu. If you click on create new file, as soon as you click, it will take you to the file you have already, uh, all the file uh, saved inside your PLC that's the only difference and create a new file basically you seeing all the file have inside the PLC browse you are going to upload new file on your Micrologix 1100 that's all for today thank you for watching if you like my video like share comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching